Welcome to Get Wed, a podcast to plan your wedding by. I'm Katie. And I'm Kerry. And we're both here as professional photographers and brides-to-be to help you plan your big day. Each week we'll discuss a topic that you encounter along your wedding planning journey. And with the help of fellow industry experts, we'll navigate this crazy wedding world together. together. Hi everybody and welcome back to Get Wed. Hi everyone. Uh, this week we are we are um, on episode nine. I had to think where the hell I was. <laughs> um, and so this week we thought it was a prime opportunity for, to, for us to talk about all your last minute wedding panics because my wedding is only four weeks away as of this week. So oh. I'm most definitely panicking. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is not long, is it, at all to go, so... No, it's it's that hard stage where like everything is suddenly very quickly approaching mm. and you're like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> How are you panic. thinking about it all, Kerry? I feel all right. I don't know. It doesn't feel real yet. I just feel like there's so much to do. Like, and it's all, it's not big stuff. It's all little things like um, something like decorations and, you know, things like that. But it's, and then there's also lots of stuff that we can't do until the week of the wedding because we've got to go get flowers and, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. So... Yeah, it's weird. So you got a hold I feel, back. I feel like mm. I'm a bit of a weird limbo. Yeah, yeah, that's sort of horrible point just in the middle where. Yeah. Yeah. So we thought we'd sort of talk about um, the stuff that maybe you should be doing, like in the in the lead up, particularly maybe like the week before your wedding, because um, mm. we thought it might be quite useful to to know. Yeah. Um. So, um, do you want to talk about the things that you've got left to do, Kerry, or is it going to stress you out? <laughs> <laughs> It's probably going to stress me out, but we can start off there yeah. if you want. <laughs> <laughs> so Kerry's got one month to go until she gets married. And what have you got left to do to make other bride and grooms feel a bit better about themselves? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So I've got so much to left to do. I mean, we are pre-recording this slightly. So hopefully some of this stuff is going to be sorted by the time we get to, the, to when this episode's released. But at the moment, we still haven't got wedding rings. So that's a biggie. Yeah, that's tricky too. Because I mean, the thing is, you got yours from Brighton, didn't you? So yeah, which, is... which at the time it was lovely having a nice day out in Brighton, leisurely picking your engagement yeah. ring. I really enjoyed that. Not a never, weekend away. Never thought about the fact that I have to keep going down there and having it resized and cleaned and. Oh. But um, yeah, yeah. So we did originally want to go back to the same jewelers because we really, really liked that jewelers where we got it from. But um, yeah, time's just ticking on, and it's finding the time to get down there. So. I don't know whether especially with wedding it. season for you you just you're yeah. not getting weekends are well, you well luckily I haven't I'm not shooting any more weddings now I'm second shooting a wedding but I'm not physically shooting a wedding myself so I've got no editing and stuff um for that's good like, I mean I've got weddings to edit still from April but um I haven't got any kind of weddings coming up that I've got to then sit down and edit and sort so I've got a lot of time to kind of get sorted on my own stuff now which is good but yeah finding the time to go down and the annoying thing is that because I've got a round ring I need, yes. I need a shaped ring so I can't just walk into a jeweler's and just find like an, a simple band it needs to be shaped which was in hindsight I had to go back and have a good word with myself <laughs> <laughs> no but it's a beautiful ring isn't it so yeah it's just blocking out the time isn't it just finding the time to do it all yeah because Russell obviously hasn't got his ring either so we used to do it together and the annoying thing is that he's down in Brighton for like a work thing but that oh. weekend, I've got an engagement shoot on the Friday and a second shoot on the Saturday. So we were going to just extend his stay down there and then we were going to get it sorted that weekend. But because I've got those things planned, I can't I can't do that weekend. So I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Gosh. So, I'm sure it will come together. I'm sure you'll find some sort of way around yeah. it. And if not, find a you know bespoke jewellers around here. Maybe. Yeah, I'm just going to have to go local, I think. But it's just yeah. annoying because I don't know whether all jewellers do this, but our jeweller will resize and clean free of charge. And then we get 10% off our wedding rings if we go back to the same place. So yeah, I don't like, think many oh. other places do that. Yeah, I only got that. I didn't get that with my wedding band. I didn't get did free you? cleaning or anything, but I did with my engagement. Yeah, mm. so. It's oh, annoying. I'm sure you'll get there. Yeah. I'm sure you'll get there. So that's the big thing that is unsorted at the moment. We've still got things like men's ties to sort out. I'd also like to point out that the most stressful part of our whole wedding planning has been the men's suits. Has it? It's been awful. Like, Oh, I'm, no, why? I'm not going to name and shame the company, but they have been so oh. disorganised with everything. And, um, yeah, just uh, they've got weird, like, company procedures where they can't put one suit order in on its own. They were actually put in together. And one of Russell's brothers lives in Switzerland, so it's been really hard to organise, oh, like, his God. suit and stuff. So they've been a total nightmare and... <laughs> like when my stepdad and my dad went in for their fittings 
the people just seemed a bit clueless about what they were doing and they couldn't find the odd number to add them to, onto the orders and so that's oh. been really stressful but hopefully with, with... especially when you can't really yeah get involved that's more his side isn't it so yeah, it's been really bad but because it what, the reason it's been a little bit more stressful is that uh, the men have all had the option of going for either a custom seat or a higher seat so yeah um most of them have gone custom so they've had to go and have them have their actual sizes taken to have like a proper fitted seat done and then my dad and my stepdad have, are just having higher seats so apparently they have to be treated as two separate orders and right. it's just really weird it's, that's the only thing that's really stressed us out but hopefully the seats should come in this weekend so we'll know whether that's all sorted but that's, oh, that's been... good and you've got a good amount of time to sort it if it's yeah. not so yeah, yeah. that's but, good oh, that's been like that's been, been like the most stressful thing of all the planning has been the men's seats oh nice are they a big company they were they were an online company and they've only just got a like shop front so I don't okay. know whether that's why their staff are a bit odd and they don't really understand yeah, customer not really service. train them yeah yeah but, oh dear poor you that's not know. good isn't it so that's been a bit of a headache yeah um, but yeah we need to get ties to the boys I'm trying to think what else I need to sort out other than that it's just lots of decor stuff like finishing up like some DIY projects and yeah sort of stuff. have you done a table plan oh my god we're doing that this weekend oh <laughs> that was so stressful oh god we still haven't yeah. sorted it but the, the annoying thing that I'm finding and if any of the listeners are going through this stress please let me know but I've got a um, divorced family so um it's making my top table really top like one-sided like really heavy on one side and, and not on the other because Russ has got a normal family um so it's where oh, he... not a normal family. <laughs> Do you know what I mean though he's got one mum and one dad whereas I've got like dad stepdad and stuff so it just makes it a bit more awkward. So I'd like my dad on the top table, but I also don't want my stepdad to feel left out because he's been in my, my life like for as long as I can remember. So it's whether we originally we were going to have our parents just host tables and then we we're like, well, what friends do we put on the top table? And it's just getting really complicated. So and but oh. trying to figure out where to sit people as well. I know it's really hard. I know you'll sort of make one person happy and then you'll look at it and be like, oh, yeah. they might be happy. And... I knew it was going to be stressful when you actually sit down and do it. It's like, oh my god, who do you put these people with? And oh, yeah. you don't want to be that person who, like, I remember other ways people have been like, oh, I don't want to sit there. Yeah. It's like, oh god, you don't want to do that. But also, yeah. of us, we had such long ones that you felt bad that the people at the very end maybe didn't feel as loved as people like further, like closer yeah. to you. But there's just nothing you can do. Like, you've got to put people somewhere. But yeah, yeah I had all that guilt as well because one of my friends made a comment that. She was so far away, and I was oh like, oh, God. I'm sorry. Please, yeah, you've just got to like, accept the fact that people have to fit in a room, and it's only for like an hour, isn't it? But it yeah. does feel like that when you're laying out the tables, thinking, oh, I hope they don't mind. Yeah. And it's putting the right kinds of people together as well, isn't it? Yeah, and the right kind of party people, and maybe mm. a mix, and oh, yeah, it's really Did you hard. like mix your friends up, or did you keep all like, did you keep all the groups we, who knew each other together? Yeah, we kind of kept them all mm. together ish, yeah yeah oh it's so hard I wouldn't know oh, I wouldn't know where to start I put that off for a long time that was awful yeah we just started sat down to say we basically just like used some sticky like um post-it note things and put everyone's names on and move them around the tables and stuff yeah that's such good advice because I first of all started off drawing it out and you just crossing everything yeah. out you're like yeah so it's at least so that way better. you can pick people up and move them around can't you yeah so, just to do that yeah we and just, then Jack would come in and like I'd be like there it is it's done and he'd be like no and he'd like move it all around <laughs> like, oh my god that's <laughs> oh, so annoying but yeah we've um because we've we've got similar to you and that we've got long tables but we're doing them banks of 12 so we've got two two trestle tables which will sit six people around each table so tw- yeah. there'll be 12 two tables but 12 people and it's just working out how to put them all together so we've literally put all the friendships groups together for now and worked it out slightly but it's things like where do you put russell's bosses and who do you sit oh. them with and do you know what i mean like yeah that's really hard like we want to try and keep them away from his rowdy cricket mates <laughs> yeah yeah and that's well when you get like the rowdy people and then the more like reserved people yeah and- Oh, so. gosh, don't envy you there. No, that wasn't... That was probably one of the, the things that stressed me out, mm. I would say. But that's, that's been, like, the stress of the weekend. But we got, we've got got most of our RSVPs back. We had to chase a few people where we're like, look, don't worry about posting it. Just tell me what you're eating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Including my dad. My dad was like, well, you know I'm coming. He's like, yes, but I need to know what you're eating. Yeah. <laughs> Has everyone else been quite good, though, at RSVP? Yeah, yeah, we had, we had pretty much everyone's back. Uh, it's only, like, maybe six or seven people we had to chase. So that was good. That's very good going, yeah. Yeah. So that's all sorted. Um, 
I'm trying to think what else we've on, on, organised with. Um, we went to see our wedding band at the weekend again because they were playing in town. So we kind of, oh. we would like listen to the songs that they were playing so that we could choose the songs that we were going to play in between the sets because we are just going to have yeah. an iPod running in between. So we don't repeat the music too much. Um, so yeah, I felt like I had a good wedding admin weekend this weekend. Yeah, you got a lot done because you've been making a lot as well, haven't yeah. you? Oh, my top tip, by the way, because I was like, <laughs> I went to Ikea and bought loads of 50p vases. Um, so that was really cheap. And then I also have been saving baked bean cans and spraying them gold and copper. <laughs> That's really nice. I bet that looks really good. Yeah. So yeah. Um, everyone thinks I'm slightly mad. I'm like, save a baked bean cans. Yeah. <laughs> they look great, though. Because if you follow um, Kerry on Instagram, you can, she sort of is quite good at filming all her little crafty <laughs> things. And I love like watching Boomerang of her just like making things constantly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah it's really good. Yeah. So I've been making like bunting and stuff and yeah so I feel like I'm there but it's that thing again like we had in our previous episodes we were talking about you don't know how much you need until you're there so yes. I'm just making loads of stuff but I just don't know what it's going to look like when it's all put together so we'll yeah see. and I bought so much stuff we didn't need you're like oh but it's, it's better to have too much than not enough I think, yeah you can always hang it outside or something exactly so, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and we've got a lot to do in terms of like the week of the wedding so like we're going to strip a lot of the garden down for like foliage to use at the wedding but we can't do that to the week of we're going to go to the wholesalers with some flowers for the tables and stuff, but can't do that until the week off again. So it's just all yeah. those kind of weird, kind of waiting to yeah. do stuff. Yeah, yeah. At least you've got a good amount of time to set up as well. That's great. Mm. Yeah, it should all come together. Yeah. So we were sort of saying what might be a good thing to kind of organise the week before. So Kerry, have you started to sort of organise anything for that, that sort of run up to that week? Because have you got that week off? Yes. I've got the week off, yeah. But, um, yeah, that's good. That's always a good idea, by the way, everyone. If you can at least get maybe a couple of days mm. off. Yeah, I've, ta- I've taken the week off. Russell's going to be off from the Wednesday, which is the day that we officially get married. Oh, and yeah. he's got the rest of the week off. But, um, yeah, so we, I haven't really organised anything yet, but I know that me and you are about to dish out some really good advice for everybody yes. else. So I will definitely <laughs> follow it. <laughs> <laughs> so the sort of stuff that I was doing the week before... But you can start organising now. One of the main things is any beauty treatments, I mm. would say, because um, I wanted to get my nails done and my toenails and my eyelashes done. And that was kind of my little thing. So I think if you want to get that booked in as soon as possible with your beautician, so mm. and especially if it's if it's gel nails, they're probably best because they're a bit more, you can sort of make them last for your honeymoon then. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, make sure you get that booked in advance because I know with my girl, especially if you're getting married in the summer, they're going to get quite busy. So maybe yeah. book that quite soon, I that's would good. say. See, that's really good advice because I'm not a very girly girl and I never have my nails done. Whereas I know you're very good at like your beauty upkeep. So that's a good <laughs> tip. <laughs> I love a bit of beauty. So <laughs> yeah, and especially if you've got a certain beautician that you really like or something, just make sure that you just get organised and just book. I think I booked mine in about two months before. Oh, did you? Just, like, See, yeah, you're, just, you're super just, girly. <laughs> I am pretty good <laughs> and also it's, it's nice because you are a bit stressed and a bit worn out so if you've got that to kind of keep you going you think oh that's my pamper day or you yeah. know pamper afternoon where you can maybe get your nails done and get a back massage or something then it's quite mm. nice yeah that's a good and also tip. things like fake tanning too so Kerry you, you said you're not going to fake tan are you but no. things like that so I started to kind of do a few practices and build that up too and did you do yeah. your own fake tan yeah yeah oh my god that's very funny <laughs> Do you do that a lot anyway, though? Um, yeah, when I can be bothered. Yeah. <laughs> I've not done it for a while, but yeah. I've never yeah, done, so I was I've never done a I've never done my own fake tan or had a fake tan. So I just think if I did it on the window, it would look really odd. Just turn up. Yeah, they'd really be like, what, Kerry? <laughs> where have you been? <laughs> yeah, so I think, I think, again, like Kerry said, sort of do do what you normally do. Don't don't not look like you, you know, so. I do think, though, you yeah. do have to be careful in the lead up to wedding if the weather is nice and you are out sun tanning because you need to think of where your straps of your dress will be and things like that. Cause my, I, yeah. know, oh, I was about to say something that I can't say. I was going to oh. say, say about, about my dress, but I don't want to give anything away for the wedding. But oh. you just have to think about where, like if you go out and get, wear a vest top or something and then you wear, end up like a weird square tan, you know, think about yes. whether that's going to suit your, your dress or whatever. So maybe keep your shoulders covered. I don't know. Like, I mean, we've not had that great weather at the moment anyway, but you know, the weather can always... Yeah. Some suddenly get really hot for a wedding day, can't it? And then you've kind of got weird hands to contend with on the day. So maybe be That's aware so of that. True. 
I've seen so many bridesmaids with like horrendous burn straps and stuff and you just yeah. think oh. so yeah just be really careful it's and... just one of those things you can't do anything about and I know people I've had people say to me at weddings before like oh can you photoshop that and I'm thinking no <laughs> no yeah, I can't no it's just too <laughs> oh gosh no especially not in every picture so no, it would take yeah. hours so save your photographer yeah. a headache and just be yeah. considerate of your tanning situation yes. <laughs> And for me, I don't want to smell the biscuits as well on the wedding day, so I kind of did it quite mm. a few days before as did well. Your, so. Did your tan like rub off on your dress or anything though? No, no, no it was fine. That's lucky. Like but I, I use something. I use just Santrape that I've been using for like years, so I yeah. knew it was. So don't test anything that you've not used before yeah. in that lead up. You know, do do stuff that you're mm. used to. Definitely, it's a good tip because um, um, that would worry me as well as yeah. whether I was making like the underarms of my dress like orange all day. But... Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah um yeah so put, book all your beauty things in and I think also I was sort of um buying things like scissors and sellotape and blue tack and just thinking about when you get there if you do need to decorate like um mm. what you might need and especially if you've got a team of people you don't want to be fighting over one pair of scissors or something so yeah just go to pound the pound shop or something and buy loads of little bits just to yeah think about how you're going to attach things and do yeah. stuff string sellotape gaffer tape <laughs> yeah blue tack yeah. scissors staples <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> definitely and just yeah just get a little carrier bag just full of all the bits that you might mm. you don't want to get in the middle of nowhere and then be like oh I can't secure this or I can't do yeah. this so. oh I didn't bring any scissors oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's a good tip and then yeah. also you kind of that's like a good emergency kit to have on hand for like the week of decorating your wedding or the day before or whatever but also you should get an emergency kit together for the morning of the wedding as well so yes. scissors again i forever having people ask me for scissors on the morning of the wedding to cut labels out of dresses and stuff yeah so just make sure you've got scissors hand and actually cut the labels out of your dresses before the morning of the wedding do it the day yeah, before or i something? totally agree and the amount of times that i'll I'll sort of grab the shoes for a, a photo and then turn them over and they've still got, and I'll be pinning all the labels off for everyone. So take your labels off the bottom of your shoes yeah. and take the labels out of your dress because you are not going to return them. Just no. get it done. You don't want to be faffing with that in the morning, you know. It's always the morning of the wedding where if, even if they've taken the labels out of the dresses, it's those annoying loopy things. They think, oh, should yes. I cut them out? And I'm like, yes, cut them out. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, yeah. where are the scissors? And you think, oh, should have done that yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, so definitely all those little fiddly bits. Just just get it done now. Just get them all ready. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And I think as well, a good thing to have on hand is a croquet hook. Croquet, that is not the right word. Crochet. <laughs> <laughs> croquet mallet. <laughs> I actually wrote in our notes, croquet hook. That's why I just said it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even notice. I'm so I, dyslexic. <laughs> I meant a crochet hook. Um, so if you've, got the, if you've got lots of buttons in your dress, you've kind of got, the crochet hook to pull the elastic over because that can take ages um yeah and also practice putting your dress on before the wedding day so you know how it does up um and have that's whoever it is it's going to help you put the dress on practice putting you into the dress because if you've got a very complicated dress like one that needs to be um <laughs> i've lost all my words what's the word courses um yeah yeah Corseted. like um tied in <laughs> yes yes <laughs> you know they they're going to need to know how to do that and so often i see on wednesdays people are like oh, i don't know how to do this so practice 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 yeah definitely just just so it's just going to make the day run smoother and that's all you want in your morning is just to everything just to come together nice and easily yeah. so the more organized you can be the more less stressed you're going to be on your and like bridesmaids as well like put the underwear on under your dress that you're going to be wearing on the day because so often i see as well like oh bra like bra strap showing at the back or whatever and then like oh i haven't brought another bra or whatever it's like why didn't you try that before today <laughs> yeah Oh, definitely. All the little, you know, annoying things like, mm. yeah, you don't want to be. And your bridesmaids, you don't, you know, as a bridesmaid, you don't want to be stressing out the bride either, worrying about yourself. And yeah. really like, it's not about you. No, <laughs> it's not about you at all. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just practice everything. Have lots of, maybe have needle and thread to hand if you need that. Um, I'm trying to think what else I get asked for all the time on wedding days. It's um, usually just scissors and maybe a few yeah. like um, pins and stuff just in case. Yes, safety pins. The buttonholes, yeah, and a safety pin and boob tape possibly as well because that's always something people are like needing or not. Yes. So just in case, maybe something like that. And also think about your shoes. So maybe wear your shoes in a bit as well, mm. um, and maybe get those little blister pad things and yeah, you know just make sure you're comfy and get plasters as well just in case they start to rub. Yes. Yeah. 
Actually, yeah. it's a really good idea now to put those little baskets of stuff together at the actual wedding, isn't it? Like in the toilets, like plasters, paracetamol, deodorant. Yeah. Things Dry like that. shampoo, stuff like that. Yeah. All the stuff that you probably wouldn't take with you, but then you think, oh, God, I need that. So, yeah. Do you like a little basket in the toilet? I hadn't thought about that. I'm going to write down. Yeah. No, that is nice. And again, that's something you can just go to Savers or Poundland or something and mm. just get all those little bits. Not for too much money, you know, hairspray and whatever. Yeah. And then people will love you for that. Yeah. <laughs> Because that's it's so good at a wedding when you're like, oh, I really need that, and then it's just there in the little yeah. basket. And you're like, oh, good. <laughs> like little mints and things like that, polos, yeah. like that sort of thing. Yeah. God, yeah. we are so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> um, another thing you should also get organised before the day is your overnight bag. So if you're not staying at home, or staying, in a, or you're not getting ready in the room where you're staying, have that all packed and ready before, you know, the day. So. Yeah. don't be panicking just before you need to leave oh I need to put all this stuff in a bag ready to go get it done sorted yeah. so you haven't got and maybe think about it. who's going to transport it or how you're going to get it to certain places and stuff yeah. and oh that's what drove me mad actually was just trying to work out the logistics of like my family and all their overnight stuff and my overnight stuff and mm. oh yeah so do just think about how you're going to get everything to your hotel room or whatever and did you all stay in a hotel then yeah, so my yeah, my parents and my siblings and me all stayed in the same hotel, yeah. So oh, okay. I sort of went to pick my dad, but because they all live in different places, I sort of went to pick everybody up on the wedding day and then took to the house. And, oh, but you yeah. did that. You went and picked yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it was quite full on. <laughs> and then my dad forgot something, so I had to drive back again to the hotel and it really mucked up my timing so oh no oh people are enjoying your wedding that is half the problem isn't it because as organized as you can be it's always other people who make you who make you unorganized who forget something or something goes wrong for them yeah oh it is a bit yeah and also stuff like that does happen just say okay that's a bit rubbish but just breathe and just let it go and just carry on and ignore it so yeah yeah (laughs) Oh, I know. Yeah, when you're a complete control freak like me, it wasn't good. But yeah, it's fine. <laughs> We've been having those like similar conversations recently because I'm getting ready at home. So my mum's staying over the night before. I don't know about my bridesmaids whether they will. Maybe one of them will, but the other won't. Um, so they were going to come here in the morning, and then it's working out how to get everyone from here to the venue and stuff. So I think my dad's going to end up driving us all. But yeah. yeah, it's like working out logistically how that part of the day works, isn't it? And, how much time yeah. you've got and and then what time yeah for you to arrive and mm. have a few minutes just to get yourself together and then go and I know. I'm really going to be yeah. kicking myself if I end up like stressed and and running late because I'm always like going on about this to my couples like give yourself too much time and so if I end up being really stressed out I'm gonna be like I hate myself I hate myself <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that my day oh. is just going to be like organized bliss I'm gonna oh have it I'm all sure sorted. it will <laughs> It's, it's just and sometimes you can't control stuff some you know it's nice things like my wedding card got lost sometimes stuff like that just oh, no. happens and you know yeah I just kept having to pretend I wasn't looking at the time and just carry on getting yeah. ready but I was like oh my god <laughs> it was all fine in the end that's the thing it will all come together in some way so yeah, yeah don't worry I think that the other stresses we have on the day is that things like our band are going to set up at nine o'clock and we're borrowing them up their mics for their speeches but they need us, someone there to show you how to work the mics before they leave because they're setting up and then coming back later. So we have yeah. to do the whole room turnaround thing later on. Um, so it's like, well, who are we going to get there at nine o'clock to go look at Mike? So Russell's now got a plan to be up there for that time of the day. But we have got a wedding coordinator. So hopefully all our suppliers will actually be liaising with her and we won't have to worry about yeah, too much. That's the beauty holiday. of having that. Yeah, definitely. Like she can sort of have stuff out, can't she? Yeah. So. Yeah, that's all fun. Um, Oh, and also, yeah, on that note, so you might want to talk to all your suppliers as well that sort of week Mm. before. So just touch base with people if you want to, just for peace of mind, like your caterers and band, and just make sure everyone knows where they're going and what time they're coming and all the rest of it. And who they need to contact should something go wrong, because the last thing you want on the wedding day is hundreds of phone calls of being like, oh, where is this? Where is that? Like, you just want to have a a nice chilled out morning. Just turn your phone off. Don't look at it. (laughs) (laughs) And hopefully, yeah, if you've got a coordinator or somebody at your venue is in charge, then they can be the point of contact for all your suppliers, because that's just something you don't want to be stressing about. No. And if not, like, a, a good bridesmaid who's going to have their phone on them and be, mm. you know, on the ball or, you know, best man or something, if, you, if you've got a good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's a good point about you bringing up how that supplies, because I'm very... Ad- I'm very um, adamant I don't know if that's the right word but I always try to get in touch with my couple at least the week of the wedding even if I've got nothing to say to them because we've organized everything just to say 
just so you know, I'm still going to be there on Saturday, just to give them that yeah. peace of mind. Because I know if, I don't know if all suppliers do that, but I know that I'd want to know that everybody knows they've got to be there and it, it is happening. Yeah, nothing's changed. Yeah, yeah. like they're going to, yeah. No, that's so true. And But a lot of suppliers, yeah, d- didn't contact me at all. So, oh, really? Yeah, and and do. I mean, they obviously knew they were going to come and stuff and it was fine. But, mm. yeah, if, if it's for your peace of mind and it makes you feel more happy, you know, then just get in touch and say, yeah. Are you happy with everything? I had a bride once who um, had two hairdressers turn up on her wedding day. Oh my word! <laughs> because she'd, no. she'd booked with another one because she hadn't heard back from one, <gasps> and then the original one turned up thinking that she'd been hired, and she was like, "I haven't heard from you." <laughs> oh my word! What did she have to pay them both? No, she no. just paid the one that she, you know, had been in contact with. But you'd think that that sec- yeah. that that one who turned up who she hadn't, you know confirmed with you think that she would have contacted her the week before just to say oh I'll see you on Saturday or whatever yeah and she, she, just, she just turned up <gasps> that's terrible oh I hope she learned her lesson then and didn't do that from then on the Goodness bride felt me. so awkward <laughs> really sorry oh though. that's awful yeah so <laughs> yeah especially for stuff like that even even if it's just confirming I've not heard from you mm. um I won't be needing you blah blah, blah. Yeah. you know goodness oh poor woman that's horrible (laughs) (laughs) so yeah just get in touch with everybody but um other than that I think that's all I can think of that you need to go and get super organized maybe men should practice tying up their ties especially if it's cravats yes no one ever knows how to tie a cravat and buttonholes they do not go in that little slit in your no they don't top they don't they look ridiculous don't ever put them in that hole I don't know why that hole is there it just confuses me but I'm forever taking things out of that hole and putting it on properly so don't put yeah. it in the buttonhole it is not yeah and men and just good. so you know men's buttonholes go on the left lapel and ladies buttonholes go on the right or corsages go on the right I get asked that all the time oh well, especially the women, they go, well, where, where do I put it? Here. Yeah. <laughs> there, done. Yeah, I'll see. So, yeah, that as well. Maybe just, just make sure everyone knows what they're doing. And if, if you're sort of getting ready and getting everything set the day before, maybe just write out a little kind of schedule of how you'd, you know, like things to run or what different things people could do because everyone's going to be coming up to you going, what can I do? What can I do? So kind of having your brain, right, well, you can do bunting, you can do yeah. for a few people, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, because it's hard because everything is in your head. And like, especially if you've been doing the DIY stuff yourself, no one really knows what it is that you've been putting together until you get there, and then you've just got these boxes full of stuff, and it's like, well, what's it for? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, no, exactly, and and oh, it will drive you a bit nuts. So be prepared as well. If you say to somebody, "Can you put all those tins out?" They're probably not going to arrange them very well. <laughs> so you have to quietly go around after everyone's done and like rearrange everything. But yeah, at least people could, you know, if you've got people to try and help you, try and give them tasks that aren't too complex. Yeah. Probably sounds really bad, but yeah, I found that because as you'd be like, can you hang these pictures up? And people couldn't even do that, so it was mm. just yeah, a bit chaotic. Was that pictures <laughs> of you and Jack? Yeah, so we put like all different family funny pictures oh, and stuff. Nice. I wasn't going to, but I actually found it a lot of weddings people quite liked, especially in like the quieter times, sort of yeah. looking at funny pictures and baby pictures and stuff. So we did a few, yeah. Yeah, I suggest that to Russell. But I don't know if he was so keen on the idea. <laughs> yeah, like, I could yeah. do something like that maybe, but we'll see. Yeah, it just depends. If you've got any spaces and stuff, it's because we had quite a big room to fill. But if it doesn't need it, then don't worry. But yeah, yeah sometimes it can be quite funny. It's just so hard until you're in the space and you know what you've got to fill, isn't it? Oh, just definitely. Just, there's so much you can't do until, mm. you know, at least you've got a week. We had like the day before and then that was it. Yeah. So that's but we, really we had our final bill through from our caterer this week. So oh. it's like, it's like <gasps> take, take oh. my blood. Um, yeah. So that's like... A, a kick in the gut but <laughs> it's like, on her list there it's stuff that she needs like how many tables she needs and stuff and it's like oh god I need to add that onto my higher order and oh god all this other stuff it's like oh please stop <laughs> oh at least when it's all paid though even though that month before is horrible you're like right it's done now now we yeah. can just enjoy it and you know that's what we're getting now everyone suddenly getting in contact saying so can I have my money please it's like, oh yeah I guess oh. so <laughs> <laughs> oh it does suck but yeah, but then you know you're getting so close, so it is really exciting. Yeah, it's nearly over. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Oh my word! I just can't believe it's finally here, nearly. So. I know. Yeah. Scary, scary, scary. So, um, we hope that's helped with you all with your like planning and organising, and hopefully a lot of you in the same boat with me, and you feel un- as or- un- oh, I can't 
can't talk as unorganized as I feel right now or you're stressing as much as I am but um you know take Katie's advice it's all going to come together we'll be fine (laughs) it will all be fine and even silly things if they don't come together just let it go because it doesn't really matter that kind of stuff it just matters about two of you having a lovely day so Mm. Don't worry too much. And it might even make for a funny story. Sorry, I know we're wrapping up, but I just thought of something I really want to say. I had a wedding, yeah. I had a wedding on Saturday um, <laughs> and um, they had a car to take them from the um, ceremony venue to the reception. And it was an old Triumph, like vintage car, and they couldn't get it to start. They kept flooding the engine. Um, oh, no. So it was like everyone's kind of getting in and getting out and the bride just sat there like laughing, like, oops, the car won't start. And everyone's hanging around outside. And they ended up having to get loads of people push the car down the high street to get this, it started so the engine would, would kick in. Um, oh, my word. But it was hilarious. And like everyone kept talking about it on the day. And I was like, you'll always think back to that. And it's a funny story from your wedding day. So even if things don't go to plan, they'll make really fun stories. So Yeah, that's such good advice. And, and yeah, try and laugh at it, even though yeah. you might be getting stressed. <laughs> try and see the funny side of it all you know but yeah that's such good advice (laughs) Uh, so yeah we hope that's all been helpful we'll be back next week um we've got an episode all about your wedding hair next week so we know that's been a long-awaited um episode so hopefully you'll all tune in for that and we'll see you soon thank you everyone see you Bye. bye Thanks for listening to Get Wed. Would you like to hear even more from us? We have lined up some secret Get Wed episodes for our exclusive Get Wed members. To become a member, then go to www.getwedpodcast.co.uk and click on support. From here, you'll find our Patreon page and you can unlock the level of membership that you want. Supporting us through Patreon will help us grow Get Wed and give you even more content. So if you enjoy this thing, then support us today. Until next week, happy planning!